G'day and welcome back to Ducks Early Gaming and our Let's Play series on the Shamrock Valley Farm. Okay, so we are back here on Shamrock and we have changed things up a little bit. We've realised that we didn't have enough fields to run on this uh, on this farm. Uh, we we're sort of already running out of work. So we've bought a couple of extra. We've bought a little bit of new equipment and we'll go through that quickly now before we continue on with our work. So firstly, you can see we've bought a new New Holland. So we've got a T8 Evo. Uh, and we've also got a John Deere Colty Plough. Now this thing is actually, um, I don't know what the, it's a 2730 11 shank. Um, so we've got two of those available. We've got 11 shank and a 13 shank. Uh, so we got rid of the, the flex disc and we've got this. So this thing does both ploughing and cultivating at the same time. So we're giving it a go. A um, little bit higher uh, requirements than the other. This one is a lot wider, gets things done a lot quicker, but uh, is sort of a bit of overkill for this this size map and fields. So we've reverted back to this for the moment. Um, so obviously, yeah, and the T8 Evo. Now, we've also bought some extra fields. So if we bring up the map, <clears throat> you can see where we are now. We've bought fields 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Uh, we also have field 8. That was actually an error. Uh, instead of buying 18, I bought 8. Um, but So we'll keep that one now as it is for now. So what we've got to do now is prep these fields very quickly, get a crop in the ground, and uh, get through to summer. Um, we've also got to finish off with seeding field 37, uh, which we'll get to at some point today. First plan is I'm going to at least uh, play our 16, maybe even 15 in this episode. Depends on how quick it happens. Uh, this is not as wide and it does take a, a fair bit of work to do. So uh, we'll get in and get that done. All right. Let's go. <clears throat> so I hope everyone is doing really well. We are... It's, well, it's uh, Monday the 15th of October. That's been a while since recordings. Um, our latest Go Be or Go Home videos come out tonight. Um, but we've been a bit slack. We've had some uh, some busy days and, and times with, uh, with real life. But uh, we're getting on top of that. Now before we go any further while we mention real life, um, those of you that are part of my Discord channel uh, and also my, uh, my YouTube channel, uh, very well aware of uh, one of our loyal subscribers and our Patreons, uh, Aussie Medic. Uh, and you would also be well aware of the fact that Mrs. Aussie Medic, otherwise known as Annie, uh, has been quite ill for a long period of time um, with, a, with a very large growth in her stomach. Um, now, they've been battling bureaucracy and all that sort of stuff for many, many months. So government and, and state government and... Um, the hospital board and, and a whole pile of other different different things for a long period of time um, to basically get an operation done that's that's life-saving and uh, I'm, I'm pleased to say that last week they, they finally got the operation done um, some some road bumps on on the way through with the operation and everything else like that but uh, and he came through on the, through the operation quite well she uh, Went through to ICU for the weekend. They then had uh, another minor setback, which they were sort of expecting. Um, they've dealt with that. And the last report I had from Aussie Medic is that uh, she is comfortably sitting up at uh, at the hospital and uh, and slowly recovering. So that's uh, that's wonderful news. So I would just like to wish our best to Aussie Medic and um, Mrs. Aussie Medic and. Um, And, and anyone else, for that matter, that is ill, really ill, and all that sort of stuff, um, all our best wishes. So, yeah. But anyway, so, if you're on my Discord channel, you'll get the updates, and you'll, you'll be updated as to, to what's going on with, with them. Um, but we do indeed uh, wish them the best of luck, and we wish Annie a very speedy recovery. All right. So, we're just continuing on. Now this this thing here, this um, culti plow is quite good. I actually got it from Steam Camp Modding um, today or yesterday. They put most of their mods on Facebook. Um, now I won't get into the virtues of 
what they may or may not normally do with their mods and all that sort of stuff. Um, but this isn't a bad mod. Um, I don't mind this one, even though, it is, again, it's a bit of John Deere equipment. Um, and, and I will say that most of the stuff coming out of Steam Camp modding is John Deere. Um, but it actually works quite well. I'm, I'm quite, uh, quite happy with it. Um, it does take a high horsepower tractor, it's like 465 horse um, to use it. Um, but yeah, I, I don't mind it. It's, uh, I mean, you miss the opportunity to do the, the fertilization in between the steps. But if you want to do the, the plowing and the cultivating in one go, uh, it certainly works fine. So uh, we thought we'd just give it a bit of a burl. Um, you will see it on some of the other maps most likely as well, but uh, but the first time you'll actually see it publicly is here and uh, And yeah, we, we don't mind it The other thing with doing a narrow piece of equipment like this is I can actually do it in cab Because I'm less likely to stuff it up um, but That also makes for a quieter and arguably a better experience as we're looking out through the cab of the tractor Although I did miss something on, on this corner, obviously. <clears throat> well, all we need to do is bring up our minimap. I turned the minimap off to get uh, the screen saved. So let me just do that quickly. We'll just bring back up our minimap. And then we can change our mode. There we go. It gives me an idea of how far through I am on the, uh, on the field. So that's the minimap mod, by the way, the better minimap mod um, with that minimap, and that's it is fantastic. So I have mentioned it previously. I haven't done a mod review on it. I probably should have, but I haven't. Um, but you can actually go through the same as what you would normally with the escape key and going to the to the minimap. Um, you can go through all the different growth stages and, and check on the actual field status where you are quite easily. So very good. Do like it. <coughs> So we're not far now from release. Um, by the time you see this, will be a month, or less, just less than a month, um, for Farming Simulator 19. So uh, looking forward to that. Um, I've been very remiss uh, with, with all my interruptions in real life and stuff in not doing anything for Farming Simulator 19. Um, I will start working on something, so at least we can have something out. But then again, it may not really even be worth doing it. Um, there's many others that have got some good content out there. I know Virtual Farmer has just been over to Hero Fest, um, and unfortunately, Simulate Gaming couldn't get over there. His his flights were delayed, and, and basically got to the point where he just couldn't get over there. Um, but I know Virtual Farmer got hands on with uh, with 19, um, and he has got some footage. And I believe there will be a video coming out, and I would expect that to come this week, probably even before this video is out. Um, of some of the stuff he's experienced, so uh, so we'll have to um, we'll have to see how that goes. But really looking forward to uh, to seeing his insight. And I mean, he's he's been one of the ones. He's been there since day one. He's always been invited over with uh, with giants. Um, so really, VF is my go-to in relation to looking at information for um, for 19 anyway. So uh, there's probably not much point me reworking his stuff. So I'll just continue to put our stuff in Discord. Um, and I do have to update the equipment list because there's a bit more equipment we know about now. But uh, if you're interested, we have got uh, both in my Discord and also in the Simulation Gaming Society Discord a, uh, a channel dedicated to Farm Simulator 19 news. And in those, I am updating a list of known uh, equipments and all that sort of stuff as we go along. So, uh, so yeah. Feel free to pop on over and have a look. Right, so we're about halfway through this field now. Now the only thing that I don't like about this, if, if there's anything I could say I don't like, is um, when you lift the uh, the, the tiller or the culture plow, whatever you want to call it. Someone can actually tell me what the correct name of it is. Um, 
he does leave a, a small section where the the plow uh, portion of the uh, of it is that uh, as plowed, and that's the only thing I don't really like with it. But other than that, uh, it's all good. All right. Sorry, it's got a very bizarre message from some random on Discord. Anyway, he's no longer there. So the plan would be uh, for fields 15, 16, 17, 18 and 19, I think it was the other one, um, is arable crops. So we've got plenty of wheat. Uh, we'll probably put some soybeans in um, and something like that because they're uh, relatively profitable. We certainly won't be putting in any potatoes or sugar beets. Um, we need to get some crops in that are going to support our cows, if we end up doing cows, I guess, for the want of a better better term. So, um, yeah, I haven't decided 100% whether we're going to do cows or not, but it is on the cards that we could well do it. So, um, we'll just see what happens. Never say never. Although I can say never say never for the pigs. It's not too bad for in cab, I haven't missed too much. All things considered with the way I normally drive. There's a little bit of texturing issues there with it. But other than that, it seems working fine. Now I'm going to have to work out my competition for Farming Simulator 19 very soon too. Um, the competition I put up for the mod creation, um, as of today, there are still no entries. That's okay. Um, so I, I don't think that one's been very popular um, and the reason why I haven't put a video out and really publicized it outside of my videos is because all of a sudden you'll just start getting a whole pile of randoms that come in and want to um, just get a free game it's the same as um, doing a competition where uh, I put in for subs to, to get the game now I'm not saying that's not going to happen but it, it creates a false economy on your channel, all that sort of stuff. Um, and look, we did we did do a giveaway back when we got uh, 100 viewers, and AJ Evans uh, was our first competition winner. He won a copy of what was one of the DLCs. I can't read which one it was now. Um, but yeah, so I mean, we don't want to um, create that little false economy. We'd like to do it, but I am going to set up a competition. Um, online, we basically have to be registered on YouTube and registered on my Discord channel and all that sort of stuff um, to get an entry, um, and then you'll be drawn at random. Um, the winner, well, the winners will be drawn at random. So uh, we'll we'll get that set up. I'll do that this week. Uh, we need to get that out there. Otherwise, it'll be released, and everyone would have already gone out and bought it, and there'll be no point giving it away. It will be, but won't be as useful to people. Alright, get this little patch through here. Missed a little bit there, that's okay. Alright, now we're going to raise it. It's going to leave a little bit of a ploughed texture there behind. Which you may or not, may not be able to see. No, you can't really tell. You know, you just. And what we're going to do is we're just going to come over here. I'm going to set this guy up on a course play now. So he can go in here and do field 15. 
headland. Uh, we want to do narrow field. No, it doesn't like that one. All right. Uh, we'll go around two headland passes. In fact, we'll do three because of the width. And generate the field course. There we go. Okay. Now, we'll just get him in an area ready to start easily. I'll bring him up here. The best thing with course play is to, um, to have it lined up basically with the start point. Um, I'm telling most people probably to suck eggs by now. Um, but there's no point having it so he does really weird angles to approach the, uh, the first waypoint. That's how I generally run. I'll set up to go to first waypoint. Um, because that's how it'll start just doing uh, the roundabouts and doing donuts. So uh, we're all set to go there. So we're going to go first waypoint. Drive course. He's going to actually fold that up, that little distance. And then off he goes. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to run down here to the farm. Not quite that quickly. And we're going to grab the New Holland with the fertiliser spreader. And we're going to put a layer of fertiliser down. Put all over through there. He's obviously down through here. Here he is. This is one of our little T7, I think. T5, I should say. All right. Just going to take him over and we'll quickly fertilise that field that we've just done, 16. So while we're sort of getting this done, uh, please don't forget to go and check out the Simulation Gaming Society, a group created by Eustace Farmer, Grizzly Bear Sims and myself. Um, we have a lot of fun over there. And uh, I invite you all to come over there and join the uh, frivolity and the madhouse, as we all call it. Um, but you get all the gaming news over there. You get to uh, to see uh, and interact with quite a few of the, the great modders of this game. Um, with Eustace, Grizzly and myself. Uh, so we all have a bit of good fun over there. So uh, please feel free to come and check it out and uh, and say good day. Obviously don't forget also to come and check out our Discord channel and uh, come and join us on Discord so you get all the alerts and conversations in relation to uh, Farming Simulator 19, all the other games that we're interested in. Uh, we try and keep everyone updated of the basic games that most of us play um, and that sort of uh, personal request. We can do updates and all that sort of stuff. but. Yeah, so come over and join us, and uh, and don't forget, of course, for my YouTube channel, uh, don't forget to press that like button and the subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. Um, I can also advise that uh, we are now streaming with Restream, uh, not well, not right now, but when we stream, we stream with Restream, and we are streaming both on YouTube and Twitch. So the Ducks Only channel on Twitch is also an option for those that want to catch up with our live streams. Um, I'm not intending on moving over to Twitch uh, permanently or semi-permanently or anything. Um, it was just setting it up just so we had the other medium there ready to go um, to give us a bit more uh, viewer uh, saturation, I guess. Mind you, it works in the opposite manner of the fact that you got to build up separate subscriptions, but uh, that's okay. You might be seen by audiences that wouldn't normally check out our YouTube channel. <clears throat> and there goes our token yawn. All right, so that was quick. Fertilizing is done. So now we've got to wait for this guy to finish off in here, and then we can fertilize this field. Put him in there. All right, what we'll do in the interim is we'll just check out our animal status. Water, hay, grass. They could do a little bit. Uh, so what we might do is we might just head up to the main farm. Uh, we might just go grab the telehandler. Or one of our telehandlers. No, we only got the one. We did sell, we did sell the John Deere telehandler. 
Uh, and we did also sell a couple of the John Deere tractors because we had too many tractors. Um, so we did slim it down a little bit. All right, take him down. <coughs> I'm pretty sure we have a couple of uh, bales down there still. We also do need to go up and finish up our placeables area. I was remiss in doing that. That's one of the first things I was going to do today. Um, once we've done the bales and the water for the sheep, we'll uh, we'll come up and we'll get the placeables put in place, I think. That'll be the next thing we do. Before we spend all our money on fields or whatever else. No, oh, our Evo is slipping, which isn't good. See if he can sort himself out. All right. Uh, doesn't look to be any bales down here at all. All right. What have we got in the way of? Sheep should be all right. There's there's enough. Should be enough. Um, grass on the field to keep them sustained so we won't worry about that actually what we'll do is just go over here we'll fill up the water like so right, haven't got the right forks so i'll have to come over here and move some of the uh the wool out of the way we'll do that uh in the next episode all right. What we'll do is we'll head back up and uh, and we'll check out the uh, placeables area. All right. Let's close this gate. Lovely view down there, isn't it? I don't put the tree branch in the way. All right. <laughs> Off we go. So the placeables area is just up here next to the main farm. So we've bought the placeable area now. It's just a matter of laying out the placeables where we want them and for what we want, which will be the harder decision. Okay, as we said, we've got a huge area up here, so plenty of area. Right, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put the, uh, the placeables in that we really want, which is the bale storage. So we want to put in placeables. Uh, right, there they are. Now, we're not going to do round bales, I don't think, so we're going to put square bales in. Oh, that wasn't what we wanted to do. Bit of a waste of money there. All right. I think if we put him... See how that goes. Yeah, it's not too bad. See how it drives. The reason I'm saying about that is the ramp up. <coughs> Don't want to make it too severe, except for I've got to move it back a bit. We will. Alright, that'll be alright. That'll be okay. Alright. Put that one in there. So the next one I put in is the wall storage. storage so I'll put him right next door okay like so uh, again push him back off a little bit so we've got maximum space out here available 
goes. All right. Now, uh, I think we should put a washing station in. We'll put a large one in. Uh, and we'll put that over in here. That should suffice. So that'll wash everything up to it, including our combines. Okay, so we've got that in there. Uh, going through the money now. Now, grain storage we'll put in if we need it later. Um, I'm not worried about that at the moment. Silage I'm not worried about at the moment. Um, although we probably should put the silage in. No, we're gonna, gonna leave it. Gonna leave it. That's what we're gonna do. So that, that's what we're gonna put in for now. It's more than enough, I think. Um, that's all well and good. Oh, we've got to put the. Uh, got to put the ducks all the flags out. There we go. Now I did stir up Eustace not so long ago about. Uh, his product placement on his uh, mod pack that he had out before before it was abused and uh, and he was stirring me up saying that uh, I do my product placement by putting all my flags all over the place well I haven't done it in the last few episodes so or the last few series so there we go alright let's go take him back now uh, the Evo is still slipping so we need to go sort him out so we'll do that we'll just take this back into the farm Sort out the Evo, and then that will basically be where we sign off uh, as we fix the Evo up because uh, we're at 26 minutes. We really want to keep these episodes down as much as we can, um, so as we don't bore you for too long. Right, we're just parking over here. This will be fine. All right, so we're going to head on over to the Evo. Okay, so this is going to be problematic because the course play. Um, There you go, there's, there's shows you how what happens when it uh, lifts. Um, of course, play hasn't got enough room there itself to turn, so we'll have to do this one manually. So we'll leave it there for this episode. We'll continue on to get the get this field and the next field uh, ploughed and cultivated, and uh, we'll return to finish off the fertilisation and get our other jobs done. Thanks so much for joining us here at Ducks All the Gaming. Take care of yourselves and your loved ones, and no matter where you are in the world, whether it be morning, afternoon, evening or night, uh, enjoy your farming. Enjoy looking forward to farming simulator 19. I hope you had a good time. Press that like button and the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. And we'll see you again very, very soon back here at Shamrock Valley Farm. See you later. Bye.